Heavy security surrounded federal court in Boston Monday as the trial for marathon bombing suspect Johar Sarnayev got underway. The first 200 potential jurors came face to face with Sarnayev as the defense and prosecution began the process of selecting a jury. And the jurors are seated throughout the courtroom, so they do see him. They see him head on, and in fact, many of them stared intently at him as he walked in. Sarnaya faces 30 federal counts surrounding the 2013 bombing and later shootings, including using a weapon of mass destruction. He faces the death penalty for his alleged role in the bombing and the killing of an MIT police officer. Guilt does not seem to be much of an issue because it appears as though the prosecutors have amassed a trove of evidence, tons of evidence against Sarnayev. So everything really will boil down to the death penalty phase. So that's the number one objective for the defense, to spare Sarnayev's life. Sarnayev's defense team includes Judy Clark, one of the country's leading death penalty specialists. Clark defended Unabomber Ted Kaczynski. She tried to delay Sarnayev's proceedings as recently as last week, citing the difficulty for Sarnayev to get an unbiased jury in Boston. And it is going to be very difficult because so many people in this community were affected either directly or indirectly by the bombings. Almost everybody knows someone who was there. Many people were sheltered in place during the manhunt for uh, the Sarnayevs. 1,200 potential jurors are expected to be screened. The process of finding a jury will take weeks. The trial itself likely taking months. David Martin, The Associated Press, Boston.